Hey folks, I'm Serious JG. Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Doggy Mode. Uh, yeah, I got the power up here and didn't realize. I just rechecked. Um, I got what's here, so it's time for us to continue on this way. That's an electrolyte pack. Do I have full electrolyte packs? Yes, I do, so I might as well use one. I mean, use one before grabbing this one. Oh. be able to stealth kill these guys. Be nice. I read something about needing to stealth kill them. This is actually something I remember I was reading ahead to, to try not to miss anything and uh, there was one point where it's like you need to Stealth kill these guys, so I'll leave that behind. I thought I had to find another power up before I got to there, but. I'm under the impression if I engage in this combat regular styles. Uh, whichever one of those I need to stealth kill, they, I think from what I read on the IGN guide, it's going to fly away and I won't. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be trying to stealth kill. Uh, annoying. But we're coming, we're going backwards through the stage where we had... One of our first hostage, well, not our very first, but one of our first hostage situations. The first one that gave me a lot of trouble. It really looked like I was supposed to be able to stealth kill that guy. I'm above. You can't see me. Okay. So I can definitely stealth kill them. There seems to be a lot of luck involved with finding the exact right spot to trigger it. But uh, also, that wasn't the one. So I'm going to have to... Maybe this drops it? If you drop it, I'm fine. No. Okay, I think I just got to kill all these guys. Because it's definitely the one that I'm now like, oh, it's the flyers. You have to kill the flyers with a stealth kill. That's not the next one that's described in game as what you need to kill or as what you need to get. Although I do feel like if I get spotted, that thing still flies away. So now I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do, to tell you the truth. Um... All right, you tell you what, IGN, I'm going to read straight out of your guide on air, and uh, you can monetize my video, what the fuck. Um, 
After exiting the building with a live tank of the VR computer, proceed down the long stretch of street and you'll find this electrolyte tank upgrade behind a structure near the end of the road on the left. Just past the section where you picked up fuel cell number three is a line of broken arches. Oh, never mind. It's further down than this. I remember where that is. I don't have to worry about... I probably don't want to get into a ton of unnecessary combat, but it's not... It's not this zone here where I have to really worry about it. I know where it is, and it's not here. So the more of these guys I stealth kill, the better, but... So, I guess they couldn't be bothered to come up with enemies other than Desperado Cyborgs for the fight, because now I'm clearly in Rebellion. But it's also interesting that this is like what, what I was, this is chronicling what, uh, what Wolf was up to immediately before beating Raiden for the first time, because, uh, okay, oh, you're out of range now, crap. Where are you last one of these guys? Okay, here you are. Once again, though, I didn't get the Giga Ghetto. And I could have used it. Well. I can do this again. Grab this one. It's free. Don't remember what was in here. It was a rip grenade. That is a red phosphorus grenade, by the way. It's my own zany sense of humor, which has me calling it a rip grenade. for not taking damage, which is, eh, that's nice, I guess. I'm not going to complain about that. What is this? That's probably knives, yeah. Okay, one thing I did mean to do, sorry, there's so much pausing in this one. I meant to check and see how much time I have left in this video, because I kind of am not doing things my normal way. i got about 20 minutes to kill, so... All right, now I know what time it needs to be when I end it. Okay. So somewhere in here, behind some boxes, we'll be hidden loot and treasures of wonder, excitement. Somewhere to the left, I was promised exciting treasures. I believe it's going to be over here. You have freedom of movement now, Wolf. You can go wherever you want. Except where there's glowing blue barriers that don't make any sense. Oh. Here you are. Uh, either I misread it before, or uh, they don't know what left means. Meow. I should try to kill this thing. Probably not. If anything happens at all, it's probably not something that you're going to be rewarded for. Okay, so now I need to... Hopefully I've got a save point, but I need to be prepared to... HQ, requesting heightened security stats for this area. Roger that. Sending back up. Did I already mess this up? Hold on, I think I already messed this up. I think I was supposed to make a mad dash into this area because something immediately disappears. Um, 
Just past the section where you picked up fuels, there's a line of broken arches. Use the foothold on the right side of the first arch to go up top of it. From there, you must match forward and then towards the gap and then leap to stealth kill the slider before it flies away. Okay. So there's a, uh, a slider, which I believe are the flying guys. I need to kill it immediately. So hopefully... Okay, so I missed it, but I know what I have to do now. All right, this seems... Like, how the hell are you supposed to figure that out? IGN did, I guess. With either their super pro gameplay skills, or they were told where all this stuff was by the... Yeah, it just flies the fuck off. Interesting. I mean, I can see how this would be a completionist challenge, but I don't see how it's something that you would ever figure out on your own. That is like, how are you even going to notice that that guy's there? I'm jumping too soon. about killing these guys or can I just leave? I guess I gotta kill them. Sorry, I wanted to spare your life, but I don't have freedom of movement even though the game said I did. And this is why I hate the little, uh, these little robo guys so much, because they're not really a threat, but they constantly lead to you getting spotted and getting into big battles. Combo complete, damn it. Let me finish my combo. Thank you. I really needed that ghetto. I can't see what I'm fighting now, but that's okay. Alright, well, I got a B rank. It's fine. Because the magical wall has disappeared. This is a stealth mode. You want to get by without alerting the enemies to your presence. But uh, you, you must kill them even if you get to where you need to, get, to go by without them noticing you. Uh... Endurance plus seven. The how box housing left tank is behind a pile of boxes left side of the bridge. Okay, so we got we got to find a uh, fuel cell and an endurance plus before we use the access code because I do I tend to think the map will shift on us when we get past this guy. Considering how much uh, wolf sucks, I'm really trying to save all my uh, healing items for uh, whatever boss we have to face here. Oh. Come on, ghetto. 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 Thanks. Okay. 
right, so... Are you by any chance one of the two power-ups I need? That would be nice. No, you're just some knives. Okay, sorry. I just, I'm now desperately afraid of getting pushed to a point of no return on some of these, so... Now we've got the box size in this life tank is behind a pile of boxes on the left side of the bridge, past the first grad and before the first cyborg. Okay. So somewhere past this grad that we just defeated, but before the first cyborg, there should be a stack of boxes. And it is on the bridge. On the left side of the bridge. Sorry that this has turned into read the fact as we go, but there it is. It's right there. No problem. Well, you're clearly the real threat here, not the grad, so I'll make sure to deal with you. But hopefully the grad comes back. It'll come back in a way where I can stealth kill it. Because it's going to come back, right? Come on, Graddy, 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 Graddy. Here, Graddy, 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 Graddy. I'm in here, Graddy, 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 Graddy. I'm a super cool robot. Using this game's definition of super cool, that kind of applies. That cyborg soldier just has no concept that anything is wrong at all. <laughs> there we are. What if I keep this up, I'll eventually be powerful enough to fight regular enemies. Okay, now before we uh, use the access, whatever that means. Oh, come on, no S rank? I hunt killed everything. I guess I didn't hunt kill the very first one. But... Oh, never mind. This isn't the same bridge I thought it was. This isn't where we popped up after surviving an exploding bridge. Ahead is an electromagnetic barricade. You piece of shit. It uses the EMP wave to disable any UG or cyborg that tries to cross. Unless you are a contractor with the proper access code, of course. Hey, you're screwed. Now what? Kill a contractor and take his access code, perhaps? A pity little pets like yourself aren't given the code, hmm? Well, thanks for explaining how to proceed. I mean, it's not like I haven't killed anybody up to this point. I've been killing lots of guys. The idea is you've robbed me of my robo innocence by forcing me to kill. That ship has sailed, lady. Now, do I get your robo ID card or something? Generic guys have new dialogue too. So I'm not looking forward to fighting one of these guys since I can never figure out how to parry their shit anyway. At that time, I thought I parried it and I apparently didn't.
I was kicking like crazy there. But I got ghetto, and that's what matters. So I'll get a terrible score. Miss Straw will make fun of me. But at the end of the day, I will, uh... Before you see... Ah, uh, here we go. I'll get what I came here for. Before activating another one of these dealing with bobbers. And once again, I'll have to stop and check, see what the next one is, because I'm constantly worried about missing one. I wasn't doing this before. I've fallen into a severe paranoia about missing one of these. Um, instead of proceeding through the main street, turn around and you should see a red electrical door to your left. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this would definitely be a case where I would, uh, I wouldn't have, uh, apparently this wasn't available before we used that. Do you guys, again, do you not know what left means? Oh. So? What now? You think you will run to the coast? To freedom? To the wizards of the ha! coast? Let me save you time. You won't make it. Just give up now, while you still can. In what way am I allowed to give up now? So I think this is the red electrical door they're talking about. This may in fact be a slightly new area. So, Alright, we'll activate the VR mission. We'll become the VR troopers. It'll be great. You'll love it. I promise. Oh, shit. have to fight so this is like yeah there's no stealth in this one I just have to fight a million of these guys well three of them four of them let's not get much better to bait I think the problem is you're supposed to hold the button, and I've been tapping it. Okay. Is there any kind of stealth option for any of this? Because that's about as good as I'm ever going to do in one of these one-on-one -on -one fights. Wow, 
that side. That really sucks. Okay, I'm burning through all my healing items this way. And it's probably not worth it. Let's make sure that I don't perma lose them here. Because honestly, I can skip this VR mission, guys. I will be able to live with myself. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect my. rough when you can't see which way the enemy is. It happens a lot, basically. Yeah, I don't know how many how many more of these guys will have to deal with and how much I care about fighting them, but um, looks like there's a total of four. But it's not just fighting them. There's like more than just them. attack too and again the camera's just like you know what none of your fucking business where the enemy is we're gonna zoom in we're gonna we're gonna have the enemy go for a long range attack and we're gonna change the camera angle on you so you can't see where they are at exactly the moment that you need to be defending uh, I was a sheep that I can continue to care about this one. Uh, when we come back next time, I'll either be doing this again or I won't, and we'll just skip this one because this is pretty much the stealth DLC, and this is the mission where they're like, nah, let's not do stealth anymore. So maybe I'll try to finish this, and maybe I won't. Catch you guys next time.